Hi, today I'm making yam fruit salad and there's no cooking involved unless you want there to, uh, cooking to be involved. You can uh, use a fresh yam rather than canned yams and actually I think that would be better but I did not want to turn my oven on today and what we, you would need would be one pound of yams. Okay, so yams are sweet potatoes. You need green seedless grapes, two bananas that will go in at the very, very end, two apples, some lemon juice, honey, and mayonnaise. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get my uh, yams started to get them drained because you need them drained. So I will be back in a half a second. Okay, I have my yams uh, draining in the colander, and I'm going to get started on the dressing, and I need two-thirds cup of mayonnaise, and use whatever, you know, you like. I happen to be using the, the best foods, real mayo. That's one-third. That looks good too. Boy, that jar is a mess now. Okay, and I need one tablespoon of lemon juice, so I'm just gonna squeeze it out into this thing here. was about almost not quite one half but or not quite one half of a small lemon all right now one tablespoon of honey well I'm gonna pour it this way Ooh. all right Got that going, and I'm gonna get this all mixed together. Now this recipe, you will need to refrigerate it for at least a couple of hours. And I'm thinking I probably should have used a little bit more than one can, maybe about a can and a half of yams, but this will still be good. But the next time I make this, I'm definitely going to use fresh yams, so I'd have to cook them up, peel them, and uh, cube them. Okay, this is looking pretty good. All right, let me get my apples in there. I have this little core guy. That's tough. All right, got it. And you can peel them if you want, but I think it would look nicer with the peelings on. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a few of the seeds out of this. Okay, I might as well put my grapes in there to get them out of the way. And you need one pound of green seedless grapes. Okay. Get all the seeds off of these. Didn't core it exactly perfectly. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. 
and I want to chop, dice these up. My uh, apples are all chopped up, so I'm going to get them in here. And like I said, the bananas you put in at the very last minute, right before serving and stir it up. So this is a really super easy recipe. But I, oh wait, I do need to get my yams in there. So let's get the yams cut up. And I just drained those. But I, like I said, I think they would taste even better if they were fresh, but I just did not want to turn my oven on. It's going to be a little shy on the yams, but you can add as much as you like, or as little as you like. Always, you know, you can always adjust the recipe to how you like it. Kind of colorful, it's pretty. needs to chill for approximately two hours. So I'll cover it up and get it into the refrigerator. Here's Lucy. She just walked in. She's right down here at my feet. Nothing here for you, Lucy. Lucy's my dog. Okay, so this is what it is looking like. I will get this in the refrigerator and I'll be back in a half a second. The salad's in the refrigerator. It's been chilling for a bit, so I'm going to get my bananas ready. So I'm just going to slice them up and stir them into the salad and then dish it up right away. So, oh man, that's a mushy one. And these are brand new bananas too. Cut that off. There we go. Cut the ends off here. Okay. You just want to slice them however you want. You can do it super thin or really chunky. And with the lemon juice in that dressing, hopefully they weren't, these bananas won't turn black quickly, that they'll last a, a bit before they turn. Okay, I'll get the salad and we'll get this all combined, but first I think I better rinse my hands a little. Okay, let's get the salad ready. Get the bananas in here. Oh, that smells good. Those bananas smell good. Okay, give this another stir. looking good. You know, and you can always, too, cut your grapes in half. I probably should have. Or in thirds, depending upon how big they are. So let's get this on a plate. Ooh. Looks good. All right, taste time. Mmm. That's good. It should chill a little bit longer, but it's delicious. But however, I recommend using a fresh yam or a sweet potato, whatever that difference is. Okay, 
thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh wait, uh, the instructions or the quantities description will be down below in the description box for this recipe. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.